Hi, my name is Narlis Pagan and I am a remote teacher. I am also a VCS. And in collaboration with the Division of Multilingual Learners, I'd like to present to you a tool for support for your students, whether you are working remotely or you are working in person. So you'll notice that today uh, I'm presenting topic D, lesson 12, application of halves to tell time with the focus question, what does half past an hour mean? And what does it look like on the clock? For the reason that we are building conceptual understanding of time and also the aspects of a clock and what it looks like, I'm providing a tool or a Google Jamboard where students can create understanding on what a clock actually looks like and build a clock. You will notice on slide eight, the engaging multilingual learners suggestions. In the final section of build student agency by, the suggestion is including prompts that facilitate self-regulation in a remote setting. In order to build student agency, I'm including prompts that will allow students to regulate or will allow students to pace themselves or will allow students to guide themselves in a task, whether they're working in person, but especially if they're working remotely. As a remote teacher myself, I have found that one of the best tools for math instruction is a Google Jamboard. For that reason, you will find that there are PowerPoint slides for this lesson, but you will also find an embedded link of this video and materials that you may utilize. First and foremost, let's just look at a Google Jamboard that I'm providing for you. You will notice that there are two Google Jamboards. One of them will be for the Explore section, which I'll explain in a bit. And then the other Google Jamboard will replicate the PowerPoint slides. The only difference will be that there will be included prompts for self-regulation. In my own remote class, students locate these sticky notes throughout the math lesson on the Google Jamboard, and they call them their to-do steps. For English language learners or multilingual learners, sometimes they can find all the language in the PowerPoint slide to be much. So they can focus their attention on the critical elements of the task just by looking at these sticky notes. In the case that you have not used a Google Jamboard, let me just explain a bit about the features of a Google Jamboard. You'll notice on the left-hand corner, there are tools and the toolbar, and you'll see first that there will be a pen. When clicking on this, you'll notice a new window, and we'll be utilizing this tool in this lesson. There is a pen, a marker, a highlighter, and a paint tool, which students can use in the explore section as they replicate a clock. You'll also notice that there is an eraser below, a select tool, a sticky note. This is how I place within all the Google Jamboards the self-regulation prompts. I think about the task and what a student should be thinking as they complete the task or steps that are necessary to complete the task. And then I place the sticky notes on a different section of the Google Jamboard. In this Google Jamboard, the self-regulation prompts are already included for you. Also, the sticky note is useful for providing feedback to students, which many times I place on any section that they have completed tasks or classwork, and I can give a bit of feedback for next steps or goal setting. You'll notice also that there is a shape tool. Teachers, if you are completing this lesson live, this will be a great tool to create a clock where you can create a circle, and place it anywhere on the Google Jamboard and then utilize it to build a clock in a live setting. So I also wanna just focus on the final tools. You'll notice that there's a text box where text can be placed anywhere on the page. And then finally a laser tool, which I utilize as my favorite tool to direct the attention for multilingual learners 
on key vocabulary or essential elements of the task as I am teaching live in a remote setting. So just a few uh, indicators that I'd like for you to focus on. You'll notice that there is the introduction or reference slides. And then finally, in the opening or the launch section, there are the self-regulation prompts. So I considered what was the essential elements of the task. What should the students be thinking or the steps that are necessary to be able to complete the task? So it's very simple for students just to focus on the sticky notes. You'll also notice in the explore section, there are self-regulation prompts. Finally, I just wanna show how I have completed the explore section here and just model very quickly how you can use the Google Jamboard tools to complete the explore section. You'll notice in the PowerPoint slides that the actual explore task is to draw a clock on a piece of paper and shade the clock from start of a new hour through half an hour and share your picture with me. Explain why this is the same as 30 minutes. This might be difficult for students to complete on their own, even if they have the guidance of one adult in a remote setting to draw an entire clock and then focus on completing what a clock would look like in half past an hour. For that reason, I provided a scaffolded task. You notice in the Google Jamboard that instead the task reads, use the Jamboard tools to shade the clock from the start of a new hour through half an hour and share your picture with me. Just in this video, I've shown what the task should look like finally. But teachers, I just wanna show you that very simply, in step one, they choose a paint tool and the paint tool is the final tool on the first window and they can split the clock in half from 12 to six and then paint this half of the clock. And then finally, I provided a sentence stem for English language learners or multilingual learners so that they can be able to explain. It is the same as 30 minutes because. Teachers, in the case that you are completing this in a live session, you might decide to instead just focus your live instruction on this explore task. For that reason, I provided a Google Jamboard where there are multiple or 20 slides of the explore section. If you place this into your Google Classroom and place this as I'm gonna show in an edit format, you can actually view the students working live, having each student have their own slide and complete the explore section. So there are 20 slides here for a live explore section. In the case that you wanna provide additional support for English language learners or multilingual learners, you can simply write two names or three names on one slide so that they can collaborate to complete this task. Finally, teachers, I'd like to draw your attention to the Google Classroom. When demonstrating this in a live session, you might wanna use the Google Jamboard to model your entire lesson with the laser tool. You can place it into your Google Classroom and place it as a view only. When students view only, they will not be able to maneuver or manipulate your Google Jamboard. When placing this as the asynchronous tool, where students will complete the entire Jamboard on their own, my suggestion is simply to make a copy for each student. This way, each student will have their own Google Jamboard and you will be able to access their classwork. Finally, teachers, if you're just using the Explore section and the rest of the lesson will be asynchronous, you may place this into your Google Classroom under Edit. This will allow the students to all have access to the same Jamboard at the same time, and you can view all their classwork on their own. Teachers, again, today um, in this lesson, lesson 12 of module 5D, um, my main suggestion or in collaboration with the Division of Multilingual Learners, my recommendation is to include prompts 
that facilitates self-regulation in a remote setting. Thank you so much for viewing this YouTube video. Please continue to place comments so that we can best support you as you best support your students.